Lauren, thank you. We are just a few days out from the partial solar eclipse here in our area. Millions of across America will likely be looking up to the sky as the moon casts a shadow across the country. If you're looking to get your hands on a pair of eclipse glasses so you can watch safely, the Palm Beach County Library will be handing them out. From now until Sunday, you can pick up a pair as long as you have a county library card. So that's one pair per card. And then on Sunday, the remaining glasses will be given out on a first come first serve basis to card holders. Yeah, and you can also get some eclipse glasses at the Cox Science Center. That's where there will be a viewing party of the solar eclipse on Monday. There will be a large 10 foot refracting telescope with solar filters. So you don't even need glasses with that. But of course, there will be some limited uh, numbers of the glasses on a first come first serve basis. There will also be more space themed activities planned there throughout the day. The event said to go from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. All right, well, I'm over here with meteorologist Jennifer Collins now because she's going to show us how you can safely watch the partial solar eclipse using a pinhole projector. So uh, tell us how this works, Jen. Yeah, you can use anything, whether it's a shoe box, a cereal box, or maybe a cardboard box laying around. Um, what you essentially build with it is two little holes. One of them's covered with a foil, and then you poke a little pinhole into it, whether it's using a pencil or a you know, push pin. And then from there, you'll take like another piece of paper, put at the other end, and what it essentially does is creates a filter that only lets a specific amount of rays into the, from the uh, sun, and it blocks out any sort of other clutter you may have, and it creates sort of like a lens, similar to your eye works as a lens, or even how a camera lens works too, and it projects an inverted image of the sun, so huh. you'll be able to see the moon crossing above the sun. So then you close it off, you put it up to your eye, you look through one hole, and you'll <laughs> see the image of it on the other side. You have to make sure the sun angles coming in from behind you. So, I mean, this is easy to do. Like, yep. we've got a shoe box here. This is just another cardboard box. Yes. What else do we need to do this at home? Uh, pretty much just tape, uh, <laughs> you know, a piece of paper to put at the end and a pair of scissors to cut through and a piece of foil, too. So very simple to make. Uh, we have a, a description on our, on our website right now of how to create one of these. Of course, if you can get glasses, though, these are great. It blocks out the sun completely, and you'll be able to look up to the sky and see the sun, uh, the moon crossing in front of the sun. Awesome. Jen, yes. thank you. Carol, we'll send it back over to you now.